Michelangelo the party dude, basically the heart of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle has many different incarnations from the 1987 Ninja Turtle show IDW all the way to the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm going to rank each adaptation from worst to best. And remember, this is my opinion, so let me know how you rank them on the comments below. What up, Geektron here, and if you love the Turtles and 90s and early 2000s related, consider subscribing. Turning into that opera guy again. Oh, little city of New York, whose buildings reach to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Coming dead last to me is the Christmas Michelangelo. This version of Mikey was terrible. They had him singing opera music. Coming next, Rockstar Michelangelo. The Turtles Rockstar tour coming out of their shell was horrific, the character design was terrible, and they had Mikey playing the guitar. Hey Donnie, come watch Leo turn his noodle into strudel. <laughs> you don't break the bricks with your head, you break the bricks with your will. Coming up next, we have the next mutation, Michelangelo. This version of Michelangelo was terrible, the design was terrible. The only good thing he had going for him was the Jeep, but how did he even get the Jeep? Let's be honest. What's up, bruh? Oh, you think you can handle this, huh? I'm a snap and turtle fool. I meant to do that. Coming up next, we had the 2014 Michael Bay Michelangelo. This version of Michelangelo was okay. He had a crush on April, which was pretty weird, and he was pretty damn funny, but the design was hideous. On the minutes! Survival training? I thought we were going camping! Can we at least make s'mores? You will make nothing! Coming up next, we got the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Michelangelo. This version was okay. I wasn't too crazy about the design. It was definitely unique compared to his predecessor, and instead of having the traditional nunchuck, he had a whip. Coming up next, we had the 2007 Michelangelo. This version of Michelangelo was pretty good. We see him performing in birthday parties, and we see physical emotion taking an effect on him because Leo's absent. And we saw him how close he got to Donatello. The only drawback to me was the design. I'm not a fan of this design of the turtles. So many buttons. Could I please just... Don't press anything. Coming up next, we got Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Michelangelo. This version of Michelangelo was pretty damn good. He was funny. The design resembles a lot to me like the IDW version. And it was cool to see him in a bat suit. Coming up next, we got the Mirage comic Michelangelo, the original Mikey, dark, gritty. This version is definitely a classic. Coming up next, we got the IDW Michelangelo. This version was the most developed Michelangelo we ever had so far, and the character design was pretty damn good. To me, he was definitely the heart of the turtles. And before we get to our top five, here's what you guys voted on GeekTronPlus.com. Tied at 3%, the next mutation, Mirage Comic and the 1990 Michelangelo. Tied at 6%, Rise, IDW, and The Last Ronin. Followed by third place, the 2003 with 11%. Coming second, we have the 1987 with 25%. And coming in at number one, you guys have the 2012 version with 39%. Nice night. Mm-hmm. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Where the heck is 122 and an 8? You're standing on it, dude. Just slip it down here. You give me that. Hey, this is a 10. 
The tab's 13. You're two minutes late, dude. Ah, oh, come on. I couldn't find a place. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Coming up next, we got the 1990 movie trilogy. Michelangelo, one of the best version we ever got of Michelangelo, the original trilogy, except part three. This version of Mikey definitely brings that 1987 turtle to life. And he was hilarious, and the design was definitely a classic. Get back in there. You couldn't possibly hit a lady, but you know, a lady <laughs> could hit you. You go, girl. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. The 2003 Michelangelo, one of the greatest Michelangelo we ever got. This version was actually slightly more immature than the 1987 counterpart. He was a prankster, he always teased the enemies when fighting, and the design is definitely one of the best we ever got. Coming up next, we got the last Ronin Michelangelo, probably one of the most darkest moments in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle history. Michelangelo's story as the last Ronin was amazing add-on to the Ninja Turtle universe, and the design was definitely top-notch. I suddenly got a wild idea! What are you doing? Me, Michelangelo, you, Jay. I've waited the whole show to say that. Come in second, the 1987 Michelangelo, the party dude, the 1987 Michelangelo version, definitely a classic, definitely had that surfer lingo vibe going on for him, and I loved his personality, and the design ages like wine. And before we get to our number one, this is our honorable mentions. <laughs> And coming in at number one, the 2012 version of Michelangelo. This version of Michelangelo was amazing. He was definitely the most innocent version we ever got. Unlike his past incarnation, he doesn't say cowabunga. Instead, he said booyakasha. At first, I was like, what in the world? But I grew to like it. He even mocked Mando Gekko when he said cowabunga and said it was too old school, which was pretty funny if you ask me. And he was definitely the heart of this incarnation turtle team. So what do you think of my ranking? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks. Just don't understand how you can fight without thinking. Mm. Yeah. Observe. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. You see, Mikey does not think. Thank you.